Hi guys, thanks for coming. I'm Svetlana Barkanova, I'm a physics prof here at Acadia, and today I am going to give you an introductory course into particle physics in just 10 minutes. Let me start with a quote. Particle physics is the unbelievable in pursuit of the unimaginable. To pinpoint the smallest fragments of the universe, you have to build the biggest machine in the world. To recreate the first millionth of a second of creation, you have to focus energy on awesome scale. That refers to the Large Hadron Collider. All right, as you know, we're all made of matter. Matter is made of atoms. An atom is made out of nucleus in the center and electrons all around it. A nucleus is made of protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are made of quarks. So, here's a proton. Up, up and down quarks. If you zoom in even more, you will see that in addition to those three constituent quarks, you have quark and quark C just swirling around. There is a lot of energy here. And it is not just up and down quarks, there is also charm and strange, top and bottom. Three generations of matter, first, second and third. If you take a quark-antiquark -quark pair and collide them, you, you will get energy in form of gluons. From that energy, you can make something else, maybe something exotic. This is the most important equation in physics. If you have energy, you can make matter. If you have matter, you can make energy. There are three most revolutionary ideas in physics, in my opinion. One is by Nicholas Copernicus, his heliocentric planetary system, of course. Then Albert Einstein, his theory of relativity. Although his Nobel Prize in physics is not for that, this is for his contributions to quantum mechanics. And then this guy, do you know him? No, no, not well known. This is Murray Gell-Mann. He got a Nobel Prize in 1969 for his idea of quarks. And that's what modern particle physics is built upon now. If proton is made out of free quarks, particles made of free quarks in general are called baryons, like proton or neutron. Mesons are made of two quarks, or quark antiquarks. So here is a pion, up and anti-down quarks. Two or three quarks. Simple enough, right? Now you notice that quarks here have color. Is it just to make picture pretty? Well, not really. According to Fermi Dirac statistics, identical fermions like quarks cannot coexist that close together. But if you introduce a new quantum number, like color, there is, no, there is no problem. Like imagine two women at a party at identical dresses. Well, three far apart, we are not going to stand together. Quarks do the same. For three quarks, you will need three colors. So we have red, green, and blue. Antiquarks carry anticolor. Gluons, which are responsible for strong interactions, carry both. Theromions are particles with half integer spin. So example would be all leptons or quarks or baryons like proton and neutron. They are fermions. Bosons are particles with integer spins. So that would be all interaction carriers like photon or gluon or mesons. The Higgs boson is called boson because it has zero spin. Now let's bring it all together. Theromions are leptons or baryons, like electron or neutron or proton. Bosons are mesons or gauge bosons, so half integer spin, integer spin. Baryons, quarks, leptons are fermions. Mesons, gauge bosons are bosons. Baryons and mesons collectively are called hadrons. 
which means those are particles made out of quarks. The Large Hadron Collider is called the Large Hadron Collider because, well, it is large and it collides hadrons. That all makes sense now, right guys? All right. So here is the standard model of particle physics. It is actually quite simple and elegant. You have six quarks, six leptons, here's interaction carriers, and three generations of matter. First, the most common, then second and third, more massive and more exotic. Now, this is a new Higgs boson is the new addition to the standard model. It was discovered at the Large Hadron Collider in 2012. It was a really big deal in physics. Those guys are theorists, Franz Josen Glad and Peter Higgs, who proposed the idea of Higgs boson, the God particle which gives ma mass to everything else in standard model. But we only got the Nobel Prize after the Higgs boson was detected by the ATLAS and CMS experiments at the Large Hadron Collider. So here is Peter Higgs hugging Fabiola Gianotti. She was the head of the ATLAS group at the time. And now she is the Director General of, uh, of CERN. This is the ATLAS detector. That thing is absolutely enormous. And I was lucky enough to have a look from above. So here is me looking down at the Atlas cavern, which is of course underground, before we closed it all up. Right now all that is sealed. All right, so here is our standard model of particle physics. Six quarks, six leptons, interaction carriers, Higgs boson, four fundamental interactions, gravity weak, electromagnetic, strong. Are we ready to make a reality to? Do we really understand our universe? As it turned out, well, not quite. Here's one of the most recent surprises. In standard model, neutrinos are massless. Apparently, they're not. That was discovered recently by Takaiki Kaita and Arthur MacDonald, who detected that neutrinos have mass because they do oscillate. That was Nobel Prize in Physics in 2015. Art McDonald's, he is a head of the Snow Lab at Sudbury, Canada, so one of us. And this is me visiting his lab in Sudbury recently. So it's two kilometers underground, super clean environment, so you have to be dressed like that. So standard model is great, I really like it, but we know it is incomplete. For example, it does not explain dark matter or dark energy. What is dark matter? Uh, I don't know. I know it is dark. It does not emit any photons, so we cannot see it. Apparently, it is made of some massive, exotic subatomic particles we still have to discover. We call those particles WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. And the search for these WIMPs, also called new physics, is the one of the hottest areas of particle physics research right now. This is actually my own research area. So I am one of those nerds looking for WIMPs. It, it is lots of fun. Now, if you guys are really interested, have a look out at those two websites. So here is Particle Adventure or Contemporary Physics Education Project. Or even better, take one of my courses at OpenAcadia. Thank you.